In this unit circle survival guide, we'll find the exact value of tangent of 225 degrees, and we'll use the Sark method. So here's a quick breakdown of the method, a nice template that you can use. Um, and before we get into this, if you need help with any of the basic skills, I'll post a link in the video description um, so that you can access videos that go into detail um, and break down all of these scales into small pieces. All right, so SARC is just an acronym so that we can remember all the steps to keep our information organized and we can ensure our answer is accurate. So the S stands for sketching the angle. So we'll sketch the terminal side. The A stands for ASTC, so we can decide is our answer, our final answer, positive or negative, depending on what quadrant our angle's in. R stands for reference triangle. We'll get the reference angle and then think about the special right triangle and the coordinates that go with that angle. And then C will calculate according to our trig ratio. So we're trying to find the tangent of 225 degrees. So we'll first sketch our angle. We see it's a positive angle. We know we're moving in the counterclockwise direction for our rotation. So we can count 0, 90, 180, 270. All right, we can stop here because we know 225 falls exactly halfway between 180 and 270. So here is a quick sketch of our terminal side. Now we can use ASTC, all students take classes, to figure out is our final answer, our tangent of 225, going to be positive or negative. And so these letters just help us know which trig functions and their reciprocals are positive in the corresponding quadrants. So label from quadrant one, all students, that's sign, take in the third quadrant, that's tangent, classes. So that's the fourth quadrant, cosine. All right, so we're, we really care about the third quadrant here. Only tangent and cotangent are positive in this quadrant. We're trying to find the tangent, so we know our final answer will be positive. And so we can go ahead and make notes of that. So now that we have this, we are ready to find our reference triangle and the coordinates that we need to work with. So our reference angle is the rotation between the terminal side of the angle and the x-axis. And so we know that's going to be 45 degrees. It's just 45 degrees past 180 to get to 225. So we're working with our special right triangle that's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And we're going to draw it here in the first quadrant because we've already decided that our final answer is positive. So no need to deal with negative signs in our calculations. All right, we know that the corresponding ordered pair with the 45, 45, 90 triangle is going to be square root of two over two for the X and the Y. Now that we have those coordinates, we're ready to make our calculation. So on the unit circle, we know the tangent of an angle is the y-coordinate divided by the x-coordinate. And in this case, we get really lucky. I love finding the tangent or the cotangent of angles that have a reference angle of 45 degrees because you end up with either one or negative one as your answer. Because you can see in this calculation, we're simply taking square root of two over two and dividing it by square root of two over two. So any number divided by itself, of course, is one. In step two, we already decided our final answer should be positive, and so the tangent of 225 degrees is positive one. Be sure to check out the links in the video description if you would like to see some more worked examples, or if you need uh, those links to get some help with our basic skills. Thanks for watching.